Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to install Azure CLI and create a virtual machine using Azure CLI commands. The Azure command line interface is a cross-platform command line tool to provide across to Azure and execute administrative commands on Azure resources. It permits the execution of commands through a terminal using interactive command line prompts or a script. Today we are going to see how to install Azure CLI and run CLI commands. So first I will go to log into the my Microsoft Azure portal. Next go to virtual machines and create to enter the project details. First enter the resource group. I will create for the new resource group. Next enter the virtual machine name. Next select the region. Next now I am going to select the availability zone. Next select the security type to select for the standard security. Next select the image. I will select for the Windows 10 Pro. Next go to the select the Windows machine size. In different sizes available for Microsoft Windows. Now I'm going to D series V5 in 2 GP CPU and 8 GP RAM and then select. Next to go to fill the administrator account details, enter the username, enter the password, again enter the confirm password. Next now I am going to edit the inbound rules. Select the inbound rules RDP 3389 port number. After creating the basic details, next now I am going to select the disk. The OS disk type I will select for the premium SSD. And next to networking. To enter the networking interface detail the default networking has been allocated for microsoft azure next go to management set the default configuration in management next advance under to tag enter the tag details enter the value Next now I am going to click review and create. Our deployment validation has been passed. Next now I am going to create the virtual machine. Our deployment is progress. Our deployment is created successful. Next, go to the resource. This is our created virtual machines. Next, go to click and connect. Select the RDP and download the RDP files. Next, open the RDP files and enter the username and password. To select the privacy setting for your device, next go to accept. This is our Windows Virtual Machines. After installing the Windows Virtual Machine, next go to and install the command CLI. Browse the Azure CLI commands.
next install for the latest release of the Azure CLI. After install the Azure CLI on Windows, next open the file. Accept the terms and condition and install. Complete for the Microsoft Azure CLI setups. Next, go to finish. After install the Azure CLI of Windows, next now I'm going to run the command prompt. Open the run as administrator. The first command I'm going to log into the Azure portal. This is our Microsoft Azure CLI has been installed successfully. Next, now I'm going to log into the Microsoft Azure. This command can be useful for the login to Microsoft account. Open the Microsoft Azure portal. Now I'm going to enter the my mail ID. Then click next, enter the password, then sign in. So you can see you have logged into Microsoft Azure. So you can see a web browser has been opened in HTTPS login Microsoft portal. This is for the JSON format. Next command you can see for the Microsoft Azure help command. Microsoft Azure help command to create and configures and capacity account details advisor so you can many options for the help command next now I'm going to list the group list next now I'm going to list for the group list this is our Microsoft Azure group list in you can see for the JSON format now I'm going to list for the table format. Every time you can must enter for the AZ. AZ means Microsoft Azure. Hyphen O table. My Microsoft Azure has been group name and location and status as this is the list for our Microsoft account group details. So next now I'm going to create a new resource group and create for the new virtual machine so first i will create for the new resource group next now i'm going to the aiz interactive tool this is for the extra command line and advanced option for the microsoft azure so inside of the command prompt i have create for the new resource group and microsoft azure virtual machines to log into the interactive so you can see create a resource group Just enter the command to see various information and select the details. Create a resource group location. Next create a resource group name. Enter the resource group name. I will enter the resource group for Linux test then enter so this is for the now create a new resource group so you can see for the JSON format now I'm going to show for the table format in my resource group so use the following commands table format you can see my resource group for Linux test so next go to the Microsoft Azure portal resource group 
go to resource group previously i have created for the command line group so you can see for the my microsoft azure linux test resource group name so next i will create for the new virtual machine only windows machine only available next create for the ubuntu machine in command line next go to the command line to create a new virtual machine linux virtual machine following the command vm create enter the name enter the virtual machine name ubuntu test machine next enter the resource group enter the resource group name I can see the my resource group new resource group I will select it next to create a admin password enter the admin password next to create a selected image You can see for the various images and destroy can be available sent to us Debian and RHEL. So now I have selected for the Ubuntu machine. You can see now virtual machine created virtual machine name Ubuntu test next resource group created resource group name and admin password and virtual machine in Ubuntu virtual machine. Next enter the command. My virtual machine has been created a new VM with standard public IP. It will be take some time. Please wait. Okay, finally created for the new Ubuntu virtual machine. Next, now I'm going to cross check for the created new virtual machine using the following commands. VM O. So you can see the O for output format. Sorry. You guys see for the table format in my virtual machines. Finally, I have successfully created for the Ubuntu virtual machine in command line. You can see the my previously Windows machine only. So now you have created for the new Ubuntu virtual machine in command line. Next, go to the Microsoft Azure portal. You can see the my new virtual machine. Refresh our page. You can see the Ubuntu virtual machine. Next, click the Ubuntu virtual machine. It's running the Ubuntu virtual machine. Next, copy the public IP address and go to the command prompt. To take SSH for my Ubuntu virtual machine, Enter the public IP address. To enter the password for Ubuntu virtual machine. So successfully log in for the my new created virtual machine in command line. Next check the OS version for the my virtual machine. My virtual machine for Ubuntu and 18.04.
this is the steps you can follow for the how to create a new virtual machine in command line of Microsoft Azure. Next, go to Microsoft Azure command prompt. You can work for the various information about the Microsoft Azure CLI using new virtual machine and stop virtual machine and delete virtual machine and resource group and multifunctional work for the Microsoft CLI command in automation tool. The Microsoft command line interface is a cross platform command line tool to connect the Azure and execute the administrative command on the Azure resources. So now I'm going to next exit from the command line. So you can following commands exit command or control plus D. I have successfully exit from the my Microsoft Azure command line. This is the steps you can follow for how to install Azure CLI and run CLI command in Microsoft Azure has been completed. Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.